Oh man, cold in my eye. <laughs> Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. Yeah, man. Now, basically, um, angry Montrez Harrell lashes out in tweet after Lakers game four loss. Montrez Harrell hasn't made much of an impact on the Los Angeles Lakers first round series versus the Phoenix Suns on the court, but he's certainly making some noise off of it. On Sunday afternoon, the Suns beat L.A. 100 to 92 to tie the proceedings up at two to two. After the fact, Harrell took the social media to express his frustrations. Harrell played just five minutes in Sunday's game, furthering a trend that started at, started at the beginning of the playoffs. Despite averaging nearly 23 minutes during the regular season and ranking as the Lakers' fourth leading scorer with 14 points per game, Harrell has completely fallen out of head coach Frank Vogel's rotation. His minutes have instead gone to some combination of Andre Drummond and Mark Gasol. This isn't the first time Harrell has lashed out on social media over the past week and change. He did it to Lambass's old team, the Los Angeles Clippers. Then he did it again to express his displeasure with the Lakers. And now he's doing it once more. Will Harrell and the Lakers eventually be able to find a common ground that, satisfy, that satisfies both parties? Time will tell. Now, I'm going to do what you did to the Clippers. <laughs> What's wrong, baby? Man, hold up. What's wrong, baby? What's wrong, big baby? You need your bottle? You need your bottle? You're upset. Let's just, let's call it what it is. See me, I see through the bullshit. I go right to the grits. What we say in the South, I go right to the grits and the over light eggs. Mix that bitch together, add some butter, some pepper in it little cheese on top and then add some of that um, corned beef hash put it all together Montrez you're mad because the Clippers have come back you and everybody else jumped off a bridge when I told you I didn't even make nothing really about you on Twitter talking trash but dog you need to go talk to your boss while you're not playing you're not playing Montrez, and this is this is facts. Nobody respects you. The only reason LeBrownies brought you over there was to weaken the Clippers bench, but guess what? It backfired. Because guess what? The Clippers came back. And the reason why I told you guys that the Clippers would come back is because the Mavericks have been a streaky team all season. Luka is dangerous when his supporting cast are hitting those threes and hitting those big shots. They are very hard to beat. That is the facts. If you go back and watch him during the season like I did, which you probably didn't, well, you probably did. You were just too busy nut-hugging um, your boy LeBronies. Harrell, you need to stay off of social media. They are going to use this also against you when you try to go and get a contract next year. Because what LeBronies is banking on is that he can get you back for the league minimum. Because next year, nobody's going to offer you that big contract that you had to get. So you got to understand, the reason I know so much isn't by listening to all these content creators. I see the outside in. I know business. Okay? My mother owned her own business. She showed me the ways that companies will try to lowball their employees so they don't have to pay them the high, that they can keep them at that, that, that pay structure that they have them at. But see, what your dumbass doesn't understand, by you saying all these things on Twitter, other executives are looking at that, Montrez. You just went on Twitter like last week, I believe, two weeks ago, dissing the Clippers. Why are you talking about the Clippers, Montrez? 
you said that it's better. You're in a better place. People actually like you. You know why you're bitter? You're bitter because you knew you made a mistake. You thought signing with LeBrownies and Clutch Sports would help you get somewhere. No, Clutch Sports is for their client, which is a.k.a. allegedly the sole owner of Clutch Sports is LeBrownies Blames. Or I like to say LeBrownies Jankles. That's the guy who basically that Clutch Sports is revolving around. They don't give a damn about you. They don't give a damn about any of their clients. As long as LeBrownies gets his clients, get his numbers first, then win second, everything is all glorious. But see, you're not getting playing time, Montrez, because they're trying to devalue you. They're trying to lower what you're worth. If you haven't seen that yet, I don't know what to tell you. You're an idiot. If y'all have heard me and my brother Kraken talking about this, we've talked about this issue with you. You're an idiot. He even said it. And he barely watches basketball, but he knows the history of LeBrownie's Jankles. We know what LJ is. We know what he's about. I know what he's about. He's an egotistical narcissist. He's a guy who is selfish. He's always been selfish. I don't care about those assists. He only throws. Why do you think he got into it with KCP the other night? And why do you think KCP didn't suit up the last game? Because he made him not suit up the last game. I believe he did. I don't know if he did or didn't. Don't don't hold me to that. But I, I, I saw him on the sideline. I don't think he was playing. I think he was in street clothes. Look, this guy is a bastard. He's a bum. He's a guy who who feeds off of players and sandbags them by destroying their stats. He puts money and he pumps his media outlets out like Shannon No Sharp and Nick Gonzo Wright. Wrong, excuse me. On FS1 and then on ES on ESPN, everybody he gives information to. That's why they tear down Kyrie Irving. That's why they tear down Kevin Durant. That's why they destroyed Kevin Durant when he went to Golden State. It wasn't about him joining the team that beat him. We've seen this plenty of times where players have joined teams that beat him. Charles Barkley jo joined the team that beat him. Darrell Revis in the NFL joined the team that beat him. It's like, it, dude, it doesn't matter. It's not about that. It's about winning a championship. It doesn't matter how you do it as long as you win. <laughs> That's the point. But the problem is he brought this on to himself. Nobody's feeling sorry for you, Trez. Nobody cares about that crap. Nobody cares about your, your depression, your crying, and all of that. When you put out there that you feel depressed on Twitter, that was it. You were done. No NBA team is going to really invest in you like that. And if they do, it's going to be lower than what you were being offered. Yo, dumbass should have gone to Charlotte, got that big money, and you could have been a starter. You could have been the leader, the emotional leader for those young guys because they could have used a guy like you, especially in, the, in, in this, this past season. You would have been intricate for them. But no, you wanted to be a little puppy and go run to your massa, which is LeBrownie's Jankles. And this is what you get. Nobody feels sorry for you. I made I made a video to this. I was going to just do it regularly on the voice recorder. I said, nah, bump this. I'm going to show my face because I want you to see me because you guys do see me. I don't care about those views I get because y'all been stealing my stuff. And I know who you are. And I'm pissed off about that. Because I put in hard work every day to try to make my page as strong as I can. And you got you guys send these little trolls over here trying to diss. You only got this many views. You only got this many people in here. Then why are you over here then? <laughs> why are you over here then, trolls? <laughs> why are you over here? Why are you guys going to other people platform trying to say that, oh man, he taking taking subscribers from you, like going to Sino page saying, I'm taking subscribers from them. I'm not taking, how? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You guys are, you guys are hypocritical. You guys don't understand that I put in work. I may, I have a degree in broadcast journalism. 
You can ask my dog, Tracy Johnson. I went to school with her. She's with On The Mark. Please go support that show. Tracy Johnson and Cliff, man. Cliff doing his thing. That's my big brother. So Cliff, even though we disagree, he knows I put in this work. So for you guys to come to my page and troll, it doesn't bother me. It's funny because I know the people are sending you over there. I know you guys are trolls being sent here. And I love it because you guys don't want the truth. You guys want the lies. You guys want to keep discrediting and devaluing those who don't have as many subscribers or views as other guys. But it's cool. When I get up there, when I get to that point, trust me, it's on point. I already got like four or five haters already. I got to double that. <laughs> But Montrez, man, you, you got to stop with this, man. You're acting like a bitch. Bitch. That's what you're acting like. And that's why nobody respects you. That's why people are looking at you. It's like white noise, dog. Like nobody wants to even pay attention to you. Okay. When you learn how to control your emotions, then that's when you'll get ahead. But until then, dog, nobody likes you or respects you. You snitched on that locker room. The word around the campfire is when things go bad, you can't handle your emotions. And because of that, you've been ethered, you've been duct taped, and you've been rolled down the river. Sorry, man. But guess what? <laughs> Just like you trolled last week, <laughs> that's what your punk ass get. Now enjoy being on the bench, you sorry ass bum. <laughs> I'm out. Deezy.